Another day, another video. Let's check this one out. I actually had one of these uh, 2019 sports at the last place I was at, but I didn't get a chance to film it, or I got lazy or whatever. So now I'm not gonna skip out on the chance to uh, check this one out. Good leg room. Turn on. There we go. Not a whole lot to talk about back here. Say what you guys want about this interior. One thing that I really like on these newer Range Rovers is uh, the window switches. Just look at them. They look so sleek, so modern. Just, yeah. I don't know. I just like the way they look a lot. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see if this thing squeaks. Whoops. Always thought these little fridges were cool. Put in a little soda. Ah, of course, well, the one time I try to open it, I can't. Ooh. That was a deep, deep squeak. That's what my stomach sounds like after I eat Chipotle. Try out those buttons. My window switches first.
Interesting. I'm gonna start it up. It's a little cold outside. When I say cold, I mean like zero degrees Celsius, of course. Nah, but it is kind of chilly out today. So, um, okay. There's a couple very minor weak spots in this interior. Of course, the fans have to go at the max speed. Come on. There we go. I also noticed this too. I was playing around with the screen earlier. It's a little bit laggy. It looks really good though, but it's it's a little slow, I have to admit. It is what it is though. I'm not trying to knock Land Rover just for their screens or whatever. Even though I heard they have some problems and they can get fixed under warranty. <clears throat> We're not going to talk about that though. Anyway, what do I think of this one? Um, it's a good improvement, I think, over the last... Last couple of Land Rovers I looked at, these uh, facelifted ones, I think the full-size Range Rover got the update in 2018. Same generation, but I got the facelift, so updated interior, updated exterior, not a full-on, you know, new model. Um, 19, I think, was the first year. This one for the Range Rover Sport. This guy right here. Um, I like it. The two screens are bit of an improvement over the uh the last screen that was in here which was surprisingly even worse um i do like these touch sensitive buttons here they can change the information that goes on them but um you guys are here for the fit and finish and the squeaks so it doesn't squeak too bad again a couple small weak spots not perfect but much improved i would say and the materials are decent on this one i know you can get probably worse materials if you go with a stripped out car or get even better materials in this one if you go autobiography this is not an autobiography but you know it's, it's still pretty nice materials i would give these a, a seven out of ten we got some real leather seats going on all soft touch surfaces there's really no noticeable hard plastic in here we got metal trim around you know it looks it looks really good i'm, I'm not sure if i should give this a seven or eight out of ten I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Fit and finish is actually not too bad. couple weak spots near the back seat and the front seat uh, climate vents over here. Otherwise, pretty solid. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for fit and finish. So there you go. 8 out of 10 fit and finish, 7 out of 10 for materials. Um, mechanical reliability, the screens, everything, you know, that's a different story. I heard they are uh, not the best on these, but that's not what my review focuses on. Just the interior. I'm going to go park this back. It is kind of cool to drive around, though. It feels uh, really quiet and isolated from the road. Catch you guys later. Peace.